Marina Victoria Alexandra Ogilvie, born on July 31, 1966, hails from a notable lineage of royalty. She is the daughter of Sir Angus Ogilvie and Princess Alexandra of Kent. She has an older brother named James Ogilvie. Noteworthy is that her mother was the first cousin of the late Queen Elizabeth, and her grandparents were Princess Marina of Greece and Denmark and Prince George, the former Duke of Kent. Adding to her connections, King Charles holds the role of her godfather. However, although she comes from a very royal background, Marina hasn't always made the choices that people with such a particular family history might usually make. The Wild Child Marina was considered the black sheep of the Windsor family due to her unconventional decisions over a long time. Her initial bold step involved featuring on the front page of Skin 2, a magazine known for its fetish themes. In the photo, the king's goddaughter wore a rubber jumpsuit and was encircled by a pack of corgis. She even wore a crown on her head to emphasize her royal connection. Her cover resulted in many raised eyebrows and jaws on the ground. Baby out of wedlock. Marina's royal controversy didn't stop there. Instead, it escalated beyond what the royal family had anticipated. When she held the 26th place in line for the throne, Marina, at 23 years old, disclosed that she was expecting a baby and wasn't married. The father of her child was freelance photographer Paul Mowat. This is the first instance of a royal child being born outside marriage in more than 100 years. This news was met with disapproval, and some of her close friends blamed Paul. Reflecting on the situation in 2003, one of Marina's friends remarked, the moment she met that creep, everything started going wrong. Seeing their relationship play out was like watching a car crash happening. Parental confrontation. Princess Alexandra and Sir Angus Ogilvie were far from pleased with their daughter's choices. Marina chose to make her situation public. During an interview with Today in 1989, she disclosed that her parents had pressured her to marry her boyfriend immediately or undergo an abortion. Describing a heated confrontation with her mother and father, she quoted Princess Alexandra as saying, You have got two options. Either you get it aborted straight away, or we arrange for you to get married this week by special license. Marina, however, was insistent that she didn't want to marry Paul until after their baby was born. When she turned down both options, Alexandra and Angus reportedly disowned her and halted her financial support which included a trust fund and her monthly allowance. Marina further revealed, Dad said there hadn't been an illegitimate birth in the royal family for 150 years. When I said to him, look, I am your daughter. What comes first, queen and country or your daughter? He said, queen and country. She reached out to Queen Elizabeth in a letter, addressing her as, dear cousin Lilibet, hoping for her parents to see reason with the help of the Queen's wisdom and care. In a BBC interview, Marina appealed to her mother to reconsider. She said, I want you to really stand by me and love me as a mother. We believe that we are doing the right thing, and it's what we want to do. Holding her hand, Paul added, I don't agree that Marina should be pushed up the aisle into, as such, a shotgun wedding. Contrary to Marina's claims, her parents released a statement asserting their love for her, denying any financial cutoff, and assuring her she was welcome home anytime. Despite their efforts to refute the allegations, the situation caused embarrassment for the family, with their private matters aired in public. Amidst this chaotic and sad situation, it is reported that Marina and her godfather, then Prince Charles, had a falling out and didn't communicate until years later. The Black Wedding Dress Contrary to their previous stance, Marina and Paul married in February 1990 at St. Margaret's Church, Westminster, just a few months before their daughter's birth. This indicates that Alexandra and Angus might have had their wishes fulfilled. However, the wedding defied the traditional expectations of the royal family. Instead of the typical white gown, Marina opted for a unique black dress paired with a red velvet bolero featuring gold trim and a black hat. Her parents and brother James attended the ceremony, but notable absences included the Queen and Charles. However, the Queen consented to the marriage under the Royal Marriages Act of 1772 before she left on her official visit to New Zealand. Their first child, Zanuska Mowat, was born in May 1990. Subsequently, three years later, 
they welcomed their second child, a son named Christian. Marina and Paul remained married until 1997 when they decided to divorce. The couple did not experience a happily ever after scenario. A friend of Marina's claimed they faced conflicts, sometimes even physical altercations within their marriage. There was an instance when the police intervened and instructed Paul to vacate their home, money problems. Marina remained a subject of media attention well into the 2000s. In 2003, it came to light that she was seeking income support and child benefits, as reported by The Times. This was notable considering her parents said wealth of 40 million pounds. Adding to the public relations challenge for the royal family was that she resided in a cottage within the grounds of Windsor Great Park, in the same area Meghan and Harry once lived. Nevertheless, reports indicated that she was indeed paying rent for her residence. The Royal Redemption Known for her passion for the piano, Marina pursued a profession as a composer, crafting advertising jingles and film scores. As reported by the Daily Mail, Marina remains active as a musician and teacher. These days, Marina Ogilvie's life has become more tranquil. At 57 years old, she has silently rebuilt her life, reconciled with her mother, and become closer since her father died in 2004. She also reportedly mended her relationship with King Charles. Her attire has shifted from rubber attire to something more practical. At a Windsor Garden party, attendees were intrigued to see Marina donning motorcycle leathers. She shared with friends that she volunteers as a dispatch rider for urgent NHS blood deliveries and remains on standby. Marina has also engaged in abseiling activities to raise funds for the British Red Cross. With her role as a blood biker, her royal journey of redemption has reached its conclusion. Furthermore, her two children, Zanuska and Christian, have chosen to lead private lives and pursue their professional paths, distancing themselves from the public spotlight. If you enjoyed this video, show your appreciation with a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to Modest Narratives for additional royal content. Remember to check the end screen for more videos about Princess Alexandra and the Kents.